Hello, and welcome to this edition of the CSIAC podcast series. In today's episode, we'll be examining the CIA triad of uh, confidentiality, integrity, and availability, and looking at an expanded approach to provide better risk evaluation and mitigation strategies. We also invite you to check out and discover um, more original content at CSIAC. Uh, It's on our website at uh, www.csiac.org. Every day, risk is identified, mitigated, transferred, accepted, or in a worst case scenario, ignored. Getting senior leadership's understanding of risk the security professional's evaluation of risk, and the mitigation actions completed is all part of the never-ending risk negotiation process. Many security professionals speak of how the CIA triad, that's confidentiality, integrity, and availability, plays a part in the management of risk but it lacks the details of considering all aspects of risk. This does not consider six other core security principles, including utility, authentication, authorized use, privacy, possession, and non-repudiation. The nine total core security principles are needed to fully address risk in more detail than the triad allows. Displaying the nine core security principles in the form of a star provides a more detailed understanding of how technologies align to the principles protecting the organization's goals. This visual representation allows security professionals to understand what technologies are available and how they can be used to mitigate risks in regards to the identified core security principle. Now, let's take a brief look at the nine security core principles. The confidentiality protects against the risk of unauthorized disclosure of information. Integrity protects against the unauthorized modification of data. Availability means the data is available to access and use when needed. Possession protects against the risk of loss or theft of data. Utility protects against the loss of the ability to use the data for its intended purpose. Authenticity protects against the risk of not conforming to reality. Non-repudiation protects against the risk of deniability. Authorized use protects against the risk of unauthorized use of cost-incurring services. And privacy is the protection against the risk of disclosing personal information. Now, let's examine some of the benefits of the nine core security principles. So it shows how the technologies align to the principles protecting the organization's goals. Now there is a correlation between opposite points on the star. This does not show direct opposites in security, but rather displays how certain technologies are not directly involved in mitigation of certain core principles. Let's look at a denial of of service attack that would target the availability and utility sections of the star. This does not directly mean a compromise in integrity or confidentiality. So again, the example of confidentiality and availability are just one example of how a weakness in one area could undermine another. But this is not always the case where there is still room for risk negotiation 
to occur. From an auditor's perspective, measuring risk should account for factors such as current security measures and countermeasures employed, the configuration of security-enabled devices, risk response, security plans, procedures, and user awareness. When an auditor identifies a weakness, they can easily align it to the core principles and provide a more detailed recommendation to leadership on the options available to mitigate the weakness. If the auditor's rationale was a lower risk, it is better to align such a rationale with the core principle and related technologies to better explain the rationale. Defense in depth can now be visually applied to risk assessments. Once leadership begins to employ the nine-point star in their risk management process, they can assign values from a typical risk appetite chart to the star. An organization can then list out in detail which core security principles they are willing to accept risk on and those related technologies associated with the principle. For example, let's say a company has a requirement that their data be highly accessible. In this case, they would seek out technologies around the availability and utility core security principles. Now let's look at how all of these core principles come together. They appear in user awareness, technical training, security plans, policies, and procedures. New turnkey technologies can alleviate a great deal of the workload, but without proper training on how to deploy, configure, utilize, and maintain these technologies, their effectiveness is only as good as the level of the user's training. With all of the technical tools in place, users still pose a risk through insider threats and data leaks. This is where reviewing authorized use and availability of data in regards to the organization's confidentiality goals are key. These are further broken down by common security concepts like the separation of duties, lease privileges, and job rotation methodologies. These are aligned to the nine point star and help address threats once they have been identified. The nine point core security principle star will help many organizations seek out possible solutions to risks. It helps senior leadership by providing a visual representation of how their mission goals align with their organization's security projects and efforts. It helps auditors and assessors by providing a better understanding on how to mitigate weaknesses by employing a defense in depth strategy. It helps organizations develop their strategy to align security plans and projects with their current mission as well as their vision. The goal is to provide a new perspective to support risk management and the never ending risk negotiation process. On behalf of the CSIAC, we would like to thank you for viewing this podcast. We hope you found the content useful and informative. If you'd like to provide us with feedback, please comment on this video and visit our website at www.csiac.org. You can also find additional content there to review. Thank you. Did you know that CSIAC offers free monthly webinars featuring experts in the areas of cybersecurity, software engineering, modeling and simulation, and knowledge management? Come see leading industry professionals talk about industry practices and leading research. Make sure to visit www.csiac.org forward slash webinars in order to subscribe to our mailing list and see when the next webinar series is available. There you can also watch previous webinar series to catch up visit www.csiac.org forward slash webinars.